How's it going everyone? Caleb here with Layton Gaming. It's time for uh, IC. Got ourselves a pair of Evolving Skies booster boxes. Thank you again, man. We appreciate it as always, IC. Let's get these ripping for you, man. Good luck. And thank you, as always. <clears throat> Let's get this going. I see. Pair of Evolving. Let's do it. Yeah, everyone has their favorite and their, their not favorite, if that makes sense, Taylor, for sure. Everyone has their preferences. <clears throat> Come on, what is going on with this wrapping? There we go, that is strange. For sure, everyone does have their preferences. I do enjoy Brad's breaks. It's a different style of breaking. I do enjoy them. It's a different style, though, for sure. Everyone's got their own way that they like to do it. Yeah, the white Schwartz. Uh, maybe you were watching the Marvel, Sue Ann. The Marvel White Schwartz set is incredible. Holy white dust, it's literally flying around. What's going on? That booster box had a ton of it. Wipe off the hands quick. Jeez, holy cow, it's all on the table too. Just one sec. Uh, she's not new, that's Kenzie. She's been here um, about two months, Gumbo. So fairly new still, yeah. Maybe three months on um, Kenzie. She usually does Instagram Gumbo. She also does Sunday morning. Sorry, didn't mean to get that cord. Just trying to clean up the table a little bit. Yeah, so that's where you'll see her most of the time. She does also do Sunday morning on the Sports Card channel. Good luck and appreciate it, I see. Thanks again. Let's get these going. But yeah, that uh, White Schwartz Marvel set is pretty sweet. That would be one that we have thought about getting as well. I um, just haven't actually pulled the trigger. Raichu Hollow. Wow, Jay, that's awesome. That's awesome, Jay. Like I said, Jay, everyone certainly does have their favorite breaker. Stormy Mountains and a Flareon VMAX. Very nice. Yeah, Kenzie does do an awesome job. She does do an awesome job. Lots of energy. Lots of energy in her breaks and um, a great amount of knowledge across all the sports. Kyle is a great person. Yeah, very positive, Gumbo. You're right. I do enjoy going golfing with him. Skip Bloom and Smeargle go golfing together. Wishy washy Zygarde Hollow. Nice. <laughs> Full face guard, Elteria. Yeah, I see, I did play a lot of golf in high school. Um, I did play a lot of golf in high school, so that is <laughs> uh, possibly correct. And then I kind of stopped playing when I got into college, like, so extreme, um, but I do still get out a good amount. My low tick, Hypno, I do have some years still playing golf now, that's for sure. Got a Rainbow Leafeon VMAX, very nice. Awesome, start I see. Rainbow Leafeon, good stuff. Heck yeah. That's a good start to the evolving. Definitely take that. Honestly, I don't know, Chris. I've never taken the time to actually calculate it. Um, on a given round though, Chris, I usually, if it's 18, I would usually shoot somewhere around an 82 to an 85. My last round, I shot 79 though. Digging Gloves, Regaliki Hollow. So yeah, it's, it's a good question. It's all good, Paul. It's all good, man. Uh, let me refresh and give you an updated time here. No problem. Love disc, gorgeous. Let me write it down quick, Ryan. There's a lot of really nice courses around here. Yeah, so usually, Chris, I'll have about half bogeys and about half pars. Litleo, Drampa on a given round. About half bogeys, about half pars. What clubs do I have? Um, my bag is kind of mixed. It's mostly Callaway though. It's mostly Callaway clubs. I have the Callaway uh, XR Irons, Dweeble, Wishy Washy. Um, what the heck is my driver? My driver is a Callaway X Hot, I think, but it's got a custom shaft on it. <laughs> not quite, baby, not quite. <laughs> 
Mareep, Pinsir. And then my wedges are mostly Titleist. I also have a Taylor made three wood, I think. So I kind of have a mixed bag. Because I bought some of my stuff new and I bought some of it used. Garbodor B. Nice. There you go, I see. Garbodor. But uh, majority of my clubs are Callaway. Is Ping still a popular brand? I think you mean Ping. Uh, Ping is still pretty popular, yep. Definitely. You're right outside of those top tiers, if not in top tier. Apple Pie. Right outside, if not in the top tier. Yep. Definitely. Hippopotus Zorark on the hollow. And I've got an Odyssey putter. The two ball Odyssey putter. I've always loved that one. Yeah, a lot of people go to ping for putter for sure. Yep. Pretty popular for their putters. Shellgun. Gorgeous. See, I've used PXG before, actually. Marshadow, Eldegoss Hollow. I have used those before, Jay. And I actually thought they were really nice as well. One of my friends has a set. Lilligant, Wishy Washy. Yeah, C and P, I'm, I'm exactly the opposite. Like, I really did try for a good um, couple of months, like my senior year of high school, during the summer, to try to go to a blade putter. I couldn't do it, man. I couldn't do it. I, I genuinely tried, though. And it was, a, it was a nice ping. I had purchased a pretty solid ping and just, I was struggling. Copycat, apple pie. Missing some putts I felt like I would normally make. And then I went back over to my old one, and I was like, yeah, right back to it with the, the two ball. Ooh, nice hit, man. Aroma Lady. That's a full art trainer. Nice, I see. Solid Aroma Lady. Nice one there, man. Congrats on that. Eh, I wouldn't say that, Gumbo. I wouldn't say that. There, there, while there's certainly, like, um... We be on Sunday night for personals. I will indeed. I will. Bravery, Marshadow Hollow. We do have group breaks on Sunday, but starting at 11 p.m. Eastern, there will be personal Sunday nights. Drowsy Tropius. Pyroar. So like I said, Gumbo, you can definitely still compete with those. It's not like you can't. Although you might get a little bit less distance with uh, some of that older technology. Seismitoad. And you're also going to get a little bit less feel as well. Like, they just won't feel quite as nice. A lot of the newer technology has, like, reduced vibration and, you know, fancy this, that. Another thing to make it feel like you're not really even hitting a golf ball when you hit it. Flaffy, Stoutland. You might get a little reduced distance, but it's not going to be massive. No problem, man, no problem. Pikachu Reverse and Hydrogen Hollow. In my opinion, with golf, what it really comes down to, more than anything, uh, more than the brand club you're using, uh, whatever it is, I think it just comes down to consistency and uh, comfortability with the clubs. You should be very comfortable with whatever it is you're using. Lombre, Shift Tree. Nice, Jay. Yeah, exactly. He's probably very comfortable with those, so... Exactly why he's probably never changed. Derivadon V there for you, I see. Exactly. And that's what I mean. If, if you're comfortable with the man, I don't think it matters at all. Nice, Ryan. Fletchling, wishy-washy. Scrafty. <laughs> the woods, yeah. <laughs> Apple pie, I'll tear you. Yeah, I've got some of those, like, actual woods just for fun that I had found at Goodwill a few years ago. Umbreon VMAX. Nice. There we go. Definitely take the Umbreon VMAX. Nice hit. There we go, man. Definitely take that one. They're fun at the range. Yeah, it's, it's a fun time to um, do some of that stuff sometimes. I agree. No leaf badge, apple pie. Happy Gilmore style. <laughs> Has there ever been a golfing Pokemon or trainer? Hmm, I don't think so. I don't think so. Ooh, full art Sylveon V. Nice one there. 
Very solid. Sylveon Full Arts. I'm trying to think now, though. Not really. Like, for me, the closest, uh, like, hobby Full Art Trainer is the the Fisherman. I like the Fisherman card. <clears throat> but, yeah, golfing, no. That's maybe po uh, Ball Guy is what I think you're thinking of. Articuno Hollow. Ball Guy, I guess that's kind of close, right? <laughs> Ball Guy. It's, like, as good as it gets. Yeah, no, not really, though, in terms of, like, an actual, like, golfer. Gyarados V, nice. Gyarados, there I see. A yeah, good question, though. The Paplitoad and the Tropius. All right, that's the code. Last pack here. Now we'll do right on to the next box. Lucky Ice Pop and the Gigalit. Box number two of the Evolving Skies. Good luck when we move the bulk. And thank you guys, as always, for hanging out with us tonight. Do appreciate it very much. Keep all of this going. We do have group breaks returning, of course, Saturday and Sunday for you guys, just like always. Group breaks on the weekend. So thank you very much for that. Um, you can find the group breaks right here on the break schedule, as always. This will have the times that they're breaking at updated to your current time zone as well. Definitely check those out for uh, the weekends. There are a couple of new group breaks on there as well. There's a, a tiered random teams break. Um, yeah, so great question, Gumbo. I'll talk about that one <laughs> right now. I was just about to. Um, got Lucky Ice Pop, Lilligant. So it's kind of like um, a sports card, random tiered teams break. You're gonna get two spots in that break, two energies that is, for purchasing one spot. Um, so after this break, I'll flash over to that list. But what you can see there on the product description, I'll drop you the link right now as well. Hold on, for one of these that I'm talking about. So you can see this this one here is actually only at one left now for tomorrow night. Um, so you can see there on that link, there's gonna be two different sets of five energies right there. Apple Pie, Redrago Hollow. Um, you can see there that top one is going to be labeled top tier. That bottom one is going to be labeled bottom tier. So the way that break is going to work, it's just going to be a standard five boxes there of Starbird. Um, and that's going to be breaking tomorrow night. It is random energy style still. And like I said, the way it works. So Fievel, with one purchase of a spot, you're going to get a random energy from that top tier. And you're going to get a random energy from the bottom tier. So I basically just looked over the set list and stuff like that, um, determined which energies make that top tier in the set, and then of course all the rest fall into the bottom tier. And the way it works, we're going to do a random for the names, and then we'll do two randoms, one for the top tier energies, one for the bottom tier energies. And then you will go ahead and get one energy from the top tier, Drake is all VMAX for the five boxes, and then you're going to get one energy from the bottom tier for the five boxes. And that's everyone that buys into that break. It's a five-spot break. Uh, that one there. Correct, correct. Stoutland. There are literally five spots for that break. So you can see that that one that I just dropped the link for is at one left. And then I'm pretty sure there's actually already spots for number two as well, which is going to be breaking Sunday night. But yes, correct. So literally out of the five people, um, one of those people will be landing that fire energy, exactly, for five boxes. Flow Eddie Milotic. Yo, what's up, Y? What's up? Happy lunch break to you. Happy lunch break. Paplet Toad, Seisma Toad. Hope you are closing off a solid Friday and stuff, Y. Appreciate it as always. Yeah, been some nice hits tonight for sure. Thanks, man. Swablu, got a Metacham V there. Nice. Metacham V, I see. Fletchender. So, yeah, correct. Less spots. Um, you do get two energies. Um, and it comes at the cost of one box, that break. So there are five boxes, five spots. So there's no upcharge there for it being a random energy style break. Zorark Hollow. Lantern and Apple Pie. 
for Avery. But yeah, that should be awesome. Um, tomorrow night and Sunday night with those. Like I said, Lilligant. Number one is going tomorrow night. It's only got one left out of the five. And then I think there's like three or four left for Sunday night. And then we have another um, EV break tomorrow. The EV premium collection boxes. Another one of those on Sunday as well. We've also got Starbirth breaking with Evolving Skies and Starbirth breaking with Fusion Strike. And a couple of other breaks that you can see there on the schedule as well. Some Flesh and Blood breaks. We've got Arcane Rising going on Saturday night. We've got the full case of uh, Tales of Aria going Sunday night. Lillipop Stoutland. And then there's some Cryptid Nation second ed booster breaks as well there as you can see on the schedule. Um, and then keep in mind, guys, that next Friday is going to be the release of Everfest. Next Friday, one week from today, we will be breaking Everfest. Dream Ball, Seismitoad, that is the newest expansion in the Flesh and Blood trading card game. We will have the first edition print here and ready for you guys to order up on Friday. Um, and then keep in mind that Saturday and Sunday will be our normal group breaks. Uh, be on the lookout for more um, Flesh and Blood Everfest first ed group breaks Saturday and Sunday Ludicolo hollow There's definitely gonna be more than just that one flesh and blood group break uh, Next weekend Saturday and Sunday Those will be random class style again Swoobat Tropius once that set set list does release I can start working on all that stuff um, For those random class next week. Ooh, nice full art S beyond V very solid and if you haven't done any of the random class flesh and blood style openings in the past with us, uh, definitely consider stopping by the stream tomorrow night or maybe Sunday night. Give one a watch, see if you enjoy it. It's a great way to get into the flesh and blood TCG though. Uh, at a great price as well. Raihan Scotland, much like the Pokemon breaks, coming at just a fraction of the uh, cost of an entire box or a couple of boxes or whatever. Full case even sometimes. Uh, Shift trip. Really fun way to get your get your decks going, get your collections going as well. And excited for some more first dead flesh and blood to chase some cold foils. Espeon V, nice. Keep going, I see. <coughs> Appreciate it, man. I felt that one coming. <clears throat> well, that ain't good. Hold on. Hopefully, I just hit the wrong button. Okay, there we go. Keep this going here, Marie Altaria. Pablet's out. Come on, I see we need an alt art tonight, man. No alternate arts out of Evolving Skies all night. Golduck and Ampros. Pablet Toad. Tropius, we got a gold. Nice. The gold electric energy. Nice one, I see. Awesome gold hit. Gold on yellow there on that card. It does look nice. Congrats on the gold energy. Nice. You go, I see. Beauty. Keep these going here. Switching cups and a Sylveon VMAX. Nice pack. Nice. Heating up. Solid Sylveon VMAX. Digging gloves. Lilligant. Boldor. Boost Shake and Flapple. Bulldog again. Come on, I see. Where's that alt at, man? Where is it hiding? Shift Tree. Evolga Reverse, Zygarde Hollow. P 
Pikachu in reverse. Altaria. Crustal. <clears throat> Feel something stuck, man. In my throat. Come on, I see. Let's close it out with an alt. Come on, man. My Lotic. Gosh, reverse and talon flame. Got the Trevenant V there, I see. Nice. Trevenant. Crystal Cave, Avalo. Mm, we got three more packs, man. Good luck here. Zwelius reverse and a Regaliki Hollow. Nice. Not bad. Two more. Rubber gloves and a flapple. I heard that that last episode PB is really nice. <laughs> I heard it's a really nice episode. Have you not watched it yet? <clears throat> Stormy Mountains and Seismitoad. All right, all right. Thank you again. I see. Appreciate it. No alternate arts, but a couple of nice other um, gold cards. A rainbow leaf yawn. Had an awesome full art as well. Uh, and appreciate it, man. We'll get those all protected and sent right out to you. Thanks again, I see.